Welcome back to Tarot by the Bay. I'm David. Um, I'm feeling compelled to do some readings on Matt Getz. Because who doesn't wake up in the morning thinking about Matt Getz? Now, there are a couple of comments in the uh, in the community page asking about him. And, uh, you know, he was uh, being investigated for um, having sex with an underage girl, underage girl, a minor, basically. And um, that case didn't seem to pan out. And the speculation was is that the the witnesses, that the Joel Greenberg was, uh, who her turn state's evidence was so, such a horrible witness that it would just undermine the case. So they, they kind of parked it. And I know I've seen Sterling and others look at this and say they see him going down with DeSantis on financial crimes. But um, other than harassing Christopher Ray during recent House proceedings, I'm kind of curious what's going on with Matt Getz right now. And then we can follow up on uh, what legal troubles he might find himself involved in with January 6th and other things for entertainment purposes only. Matt Getz, what are you up to these days? Oh, dear me. Betrayals. Who Who is being betrayed here, Matt? Is that you or somebody else betraying you? I was kind of struck when um, I just did that Marjorie Taylor Greene uh, getting kicked out of MAGA. And I believe the picture I posted up, the thumbnail I posted up, was uh, Lauren Boebert, Matt Getz, and Marjorie Taylor Greene all next to each other. Because they were like the three musketeers of cray-cray uh, MAGA folks. And now Marjorie Taylor Greene just got booted out. So I don't know if that's what this is about. But it's like the three amigos aren't, uh, aren't amigos anymore here. Cross with the star. Okay. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, this could very well be. Well, let's keep going on this one, and I'll see if we'll come back. But right now I'm getting Marjorie Taylor Greene, Matt Getz, and Lauren Boebert. That's still what I'm getting with this one. Uh, past ten, uh, In the past is the Queen of Swords. Current situation is the uh, Three of Pentacles. we got the Ace of Swords up top. We have court cases here, maybe. The Hermit. And the outcome is the Burden. Um, and victory. No, I think this this is still <clears throat> this is the back the backroom dealings of the MAGA movement and the removal of Marjorie Taylor Greene from it. I don't think Matt gets. <sighs> I think. There is a huge falling out between Matt Getz and Marjorie Taylor Greene right now, with Marjorie Taylor Greene being represented as the the blonde star, um, and I and I put that in, in as much as <clears throat> she's right now kind of like a second command to Kevin McCarthy, and she's trying to raise her star, and maybe Matt Getz was viewing that as a betrayal that she was part of the three amigos here or the two amigas in the amigo. And she decided to go her own path and lead that group. And together they had some success supporting each other. The uh, underlying thing is this also about showmanship. And they're both about showmanship. Look at me, pay attention to me type of thing. And she decided to move away from the group and do her attention by herself. In the past as a queen of swords, I think this is the vote to remove her from the Freedom Caucus. And it was done without any emotion or concern about feelings and stuff like that, because feelings are for libtards and things like that, I suppose. But it was just a decision like, okay, you decide to do this, we're going to do this. You're out. You're no longer in the club. And here's the club where, you know, <clears throat> now the, the club moves on without her. And it's, it's dark without Marjorie providing light and guidance for them, basically. <laughs> Bossing, bossing him around and telling him what to do and how to do it. <laughs> um, and now we've got the, uh, the, the the sword of truth, which you can't really ever associate with MAGA, but I think they both had their ideas of, um, of what they needed to do going forward, and they both took up their swords, but their swords didn't take them the right way, in the same direction, I should say. 
Um, there is scrutiny coming for Matt Getz, even though he's on his high horse right now. There's scrutiny coming. There's uh, things that are going to be revealed that are coming up in the near future. Oh, 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 oh. This Ace of Swords is the Department of Justice. That's what's going on here. You know, while the MAGA crowd are, are doing things in the in the dark, what's overarching him right now is uh, the Justice Department coming. And the, the thing that he's going to have to learn, the lesson learned, is the uh, things are going to be revealed in some ways by Marjorie Taylor Greene leave, you know, getting booted out of the Freedom Caucus and moving away from Matt Getz insulates her from any investigations that might drag him down. And the outcome is a burden card. There's, there's some really tough times coming up for Matt Getz in the future. And I don't think it's the distant future. Okay, so that's kind of interesting. It's not what I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting, but I don't think that was it. All right. So, we got this card, huh? And we got this card, huh? I'm curious. Are you curious? All right. Let's find out. Because we can ask. So, spirit. Because inquiring minds want to know. What exactly is coming Matt Getz's way as far as, oh, I don't know, investigations? Criminal activities? Maybe the DOJ is investigating him? Legal troubles? You know, the stuff that you never have to worry about if you don't break the law. Twice a day and thrice on Sundays. Okay, let's... What is that Ace of Swords about? What is that court case? Or what's what's coming up? In, what type of legal perils is Matt gets up against here? We're talking financial? Are we talking relationships? Are we talking insurrections? So we can have coins. We can have cups. We can have wands. Let's see. Straight this out. Bring it on down. What's Matt Getz got coming facing him here? Oh, happy days. Ten of cups. It's probably like the end of his happy days. He may not get reelected. He's got, oh, this, you know, this might be January 6th. Let's see if this is election things. And celebrations. Um, endings and, you know, endings of celebrations. The, uh, <laughs> the trifecta. I need more on this. God, these would be fabulous cards for him. He's going to win. Everything's going to work out for him, and everybody's going to celebrate him. Now, that's not the map gets we know, right? Okay, we got more page of cups. Okay, so young people, uh, relationships, temperance, more cups. Look at all these cups. More cups. More cups. Good heavens. What a snowflake. Look at all those wonderful little cups on there. Okay, underneath we got the Justice Department. Okay, so that's good. Um, Paul, what do we have here? Does this look like insurrections? Does this look like sex trafficking? It's not money. Whatever is coming up with him is not money. It's about relationships. And... Um, Give me a couple seconds here. Is this sex trafficking or is this January 6th? If this was sex trafficking, we've got women involved, young women. Things are, are changing at the moment. Offers being made. Delusional. Taking a walk. No, I'm going to go with... I mean... I am going to go with uh, January 6th. Sorry, this has got to be great for a minute of you watching. I really should pause these videos sometimes. I'm going to go with January 6th on there, and here's why. Um, because it was the end of the election, and the stuff that he did to try and keep Trump in power, as well as the Republican Party in power, 
and it's kind of like that celebration of Trump hasn't lost and you know banding together with the MAGA crowd banding together with the Republicans uh, against justice and that seems to me more um, more of a January 6th it could be both and I'll read you know I'm gonna read it as both I'm gonna read it both as sex trafficking and as a uh, as January 6th but this is you know a group of people coming down to storm the Capitol and keep the Republicans and Trump in place. Um, in the past, you have the Page of Cups. This would have been reaching out to the MAGA base to tell them that, you know, up was down and black was white and the election was stolen and they need to come out and do stuff. Current situation is temperance. Investigations are ongoing and a new day is dawning. And these investigations are looking into him and his role in this. And not only that, his his behavior and things that he was doing are odd. So it's kind of related to that. I think the Justice Department has reached out to him to talk with him. Maybe they offered him some limited immunity for testimony. Uh, maybe they're presenting evidence to him that um, they want to know more information on stuff that went on. He doesn't look like he wants to be very helpful with that which doesn't surprise me. Um, and part of the lesson that Matt gets is going to have to learn with this is that he needs to understand about integrity and he needs to understand about making good choices. Uh, with, uh, the, with the MAGA crowd, he's deluded them into uh, valuing what Matt gets values and not valuing what they value. But I think he's he himself is also deluded. He um, uh, he needed, well, he wanted a, a pardon from Trump and he was willing to do anything to get that pardon from Trump. And it just got him into more trouble. And it's gonna send, it's gonna send him walking. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if Getz uh, did something to save his bacon because he's kind of that way. And then, you know, he's he's cut loose. He's not going to get reelected. I, he might get reelected one more time. But I think when the January 6th stuff comes out, he's going to be unelectable. Now, if we're going to do uh, sex trafficking in Florida, here you are, you know, in Florida, the, the land of Disney and DeSantis and everything's great and glorious. And here we are with the ladies, you know, come over to come over to Florida. Join Matt Getz on his pleasure cruise and bring your all your girlfriends with you because he likes them about 18 years old in a day so here's your young girls and here's the you know offering strange things to them because here's this congressman that's flirt oh, god i yeah too big an age difference yuck anyways and then you know and then this investigation is t uh, on sex trafficking is taken forever and you can't even get a good witness on there, which is why the case is taking forever. And I think the Justice Department, if they're still pursuing it, they have to go very slowly. They have to check all the witnesses out and find the reliable witnesses on here. I think, again, if for the sex trafficking, they're offering him some deals on getting more details that he doesn't want to play with. You know, maybe there's other people up the food chain and Matt Getz isn't going to go up the food chain because he doesn't think that he's going to be held accountable, especially since they had Joel Greenberg and they can't nail him. And so if they got Joel Greenberg and they can't nail me, I don't need to take this offer because they just can't get me. And he's not being he's not looking at it the right way. And that's going to be a foolish move because that's going to send him on his way because justice is kind of center underneath there. So. I think he's going to get the double whammy, to be honest. I think he's going to get held for January 6th. I think he's going to get held for uh, sex trafficking or uh, something along those lines with uh, the young ladies that he was Venmoing uh, book money to. You know, there, there's more to it. Um, I don't know why. I don't know if it's a bigger case. Certainly the temperance card is up there. So things are going slowly. Going slow, 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 slow. All right. What I want to know, though, is will Matt Getz be 
out of off, will he be reelected in 2024? That's the thing about the House. You have to run every two years. By the time you get reelected and sworn in, or elected and sworn in, you're, you have to start your reelection campaign. You just have no time. Wouldn't mind seeing them get four years and or something, or three years at least, you know, half of what the senators get. Not that I want Matt Getz and Lauren Boebert and Marjorie Taylor Greene around for extra periods of time, but, you know, I don't know. It just seems like such a quick turnover. All right, what do we got? Well, Matt gets to be reelected. What can you tell me about his? Uh, there we go. What can you tell me about his 2024 election chances? What can you tell me about his 2024 election chances? Will he be reelected? <sighs> Six of coins. Do we have finance problems? We might have some financial problems here with him. Uh, whether it's campaign finance coming back to bite him or inability to um, to uh, raise money. And then um, the plans. <clears throat> I think he's having, oh, let's see. It could be either. It could be either. But you know, this is that trying to make plans, but it's hard to make plans if you don't have the finances to do it. Or if you've been, if you're part of campaign finance problems like with DeSantis, you better be planning on leaving because it's going to drag you down. Let's see where we, we got the page of cups in the past again. So um, whatever this is related to, it's going to be related to the January 6th or the trafficking or you know some type of like sex trafficking. I think this is more sex trafficking going on here. And there's going to be money connections that's going to involve him. Queen of Wands. Um, this is going to be somebody thinking about taking action on him i'm asking about his election chances somebody is looking at taking action uh who's i don't know who's in florida funny wallace is in georgia so it's not going to be her there we go again we've got the happy wants that republican nomination but it could also be again sex trafficking they might be connected oh, good lord <laughs> in the offers that he doesn't want you know what the the court case okay this is what's happening here here's what's happening here those court cases that you know where you had the either the insurrection or the the trafficking he didn't you know his interaction with the stuff in the past is impacting and his decisions that he made with those cases impacts his ability to be reelected who he associated with and the offers he didn't take impact his ability to be reelected either his funding drives dries up or he's associated with um either trafficking like you no know, to young people or with campaign finance type type of items and it could be all you know it could be all of those things what's the outcome i'm curious the emperor um he I think he's going to run into legal problems. Yeah, he's the emperor. I'm trying to think of the emperors, but I'm getting I kind of have like a judicial vibe, like a judge type vibe on this. It wouldn't be McCarthy because McCarthy is definitely not an emperor. You know, it could be McConnell was political, but he's not running for Senate. Um, you know what? I think this is DeSantis. Because he's in Florida and DeSantis is the governor of Florida. And I think all these things are linking him with DeSantis. And DeSantis is being linked with all these things. So what do we have underneath here? Oh, we got fighting and squabbling. All sorts of energy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So as the election gets near, things start heating up because all this information is coming out about trafficking about campaign finance, you know, just all the things he was doing wrong and it screws and it, it really <clears throat> impacts his ability to raise money because the people that would be supporting him are looking to the next candidate. They're, they're already looking for the next guy for over the next two years. And again, this has to do with his trafficking. This has to do with um, January 6th. 
to me, this is like the Department of Justice or a judge, you know, making rulings that impact him. And he's looking for that Republican uh, win and he's not getting it. And he's not getting it because he didn't play ball when he had the chance to get his name cleared and get himself clear of all this. And now he's going to be linked to DeSantis and there's just going to be a bunch of turmoil in there. Okay, that could be wishful thinking on my part. Uh, obviously, the election's not for uh, another, God, 15, 18 months, thereabouts, 15 months. It's a while yet before he's up for election. And a lot of stuff, especially given everything that we've seen, a lot of stuff can happen in that um, in that time. But I think by the end of this year, you know, predictions are by the end of this year, you know, we're going to have our first wave of January 6th indictments. And uh, he might very well be amongst uh, that wave. Uh, and I suspect there's going to be multiple waves of January 6th indictments. Just because if you're going to nail Trump, you got to make sure that you've got all the um, all the emergency exits sealed off. You know what I mean? And if you've indicted a bunch of people and convicted a bunch of people, there's less place for Trump to go because now you've got almost like you built a fence or, or a wall around them. <laughs> Build that wall. <laughs> Maybe Mexico will pay for this one. Okay. So, yeah, I'm, I don't want to trade places with Matt Getz on this one. I think he's... I think he's he's doing all right now, but um, we might be getting a Christmas present when it comes to him. All right, we'll take a look. Maybe we'll revisit him again as uh, indictments start coming out and uh, see if he's even in more trouble. Who knows? Maybe he takes that cup that he's not wanting there and saves his bacon. But right now, doesn't look like he's going to do that. Thank you for <laughs> sticking through this 22-minute reading. I appreciate it. Thank you for supporting my channel. And all you do to uh, help the uh, algorithm get my uh, videos out to, for other people to see and helping grow the channel and you know, spreading the word that I'm throwing out there. Um, and I really do appreciate all your help on that. Have a great night and I'll catch on the next reading. Take care.